why don't you explain uh, the research that went behind uh, the paper uh, that you recently put out, Egoism to Ecoism, Psychedelics Increase Nature Relatedness in a State-Mediated and Context-Dependent Manner? Sure. So, so this was the result of a, um, a survey study. So this is, this is um, a quite sophisticated online survey interface, a prospective survey interface developed by some, some web designers working with Imperial. Uh, so it's quite it's quite sort of sophisticated as these things go, and it's perspective. So it's looking at pri- pre psychedelic experience and then post. So sort of it's taking measures and all manner of measures. So we're just looking at a thin slice relating to the nature relatedness, but it's looking at all different things like mindfulness and well being and all different psychological uh, parameters and, and measures. So, and it was, yeah, looking before, immediately after, two and four weeks, one year, and then two years. So you get these nice snapshots of immediately after short term and then longer term to see how these values and measures are are shifting over time. So there's been quite, there's been a few correlative studies suggesting that psychedelic users, um, they tend to be more nature related people. Uh, anyway, but you, we can't definitively say from these studies whether it was the psychedelic, like a chicken or egg scenario, where you can't, mm-hmm. can't definitively say what's causing that, and maybe those people are like that anyway. And to be honest, I think there is a bit of a two-way thing. I think people who rate higher in nature relatedness and higher in, in personality trait openness are going to be more open to want to experience psychedelics in in the first place. But we also know from, from those um, Robin and Taylor Lyons of, of the Center for Psychedelic Research Imperial, they published a paper um, a few years ago, and it was a subsample of the psilocybin depression uh, participants. And they looked at their nature relatedness sort of pre and post psilocybin. Uh, and this was, this was with psychedelic naive people who obviously had major depression and had psilocybin sessions uh, to try and treat that. And they followed up these people uh, seven to 12 months later. And they found this like, like strongly significant and also enduring effect on people's nature relatedness. People, people's measures went up and then they stayed high. And it was interesting hearing some of the individual accounts from people. So some of these people who were really depressed it's like nature had kind of like fallen into the into the sort of had gone fuzzy in the background. People were no longer really thinking about it or sort of responding to it. And it was only after their sessions, nature came back into the focus in their lives in a profound way. And they're like, ah, I've been they hadn't realized they'd been missing it mm-hmm. until afterwards. And then it kind of came back into focus. So. But our study, so it was, um, we looked at a few different things. So um, we were interested, obviously, just focusing on classical psychedelics, so psilocybin, LSD, mescaline, DMT, ayahuasca, these things. And we were interested as well in looking at natural environments. So people's, um, did people have access to natural settings during their psychedelic experiences? And we also asked them to what degree did you think this was important for your experience itself? And then we also looked at measures like ego dissolution and, and mystical experience and these things. And yeah, we found this um, really quite strong. We found a few interesting things. So firstly, um, we had a few psychedelic naive people in the, in the sample, but we had people with varying levels of psychedelic experience prior to doing the survey. And we found a very strong effect of prior lifetime usage of psychedelics on nature relatedness which was interesting and this has been echoed by there was a study by uh, a guy from Yale, or Matthias Forsman and, and his colleague and they they also found this kind of lifetime usage of, of psychedelics predicted nature relatedness quite strongly so we found that we also found that there was a strong association between people's nature relatedness and their well-being mm. uh, as well and that that's there's a that there's a very strong body of literature linking uh nature relatedness to all manner of of psychological uh, measures of, of well-being and health which we can maybe go into in a bit so uh so that was that was interesting and we also found 
we found that ego dissolution experiences and access to natural settings, as you might expect, also positively, both positively predicted um, increases in, in nature relatedness. And this has been suggested as well by previous correlative studies. The, the, the theme of ego dissolution has, has come up before. Um, but yeah, here we sort of like show that quite clearly. And the other interesting thing is that this is a really enduring effect, this shift in how people relate to nature. Um, it sort of once it sort of goes up post psychedelic, it, it remains it remains elevated for you know up to two years later. We found, in fact, there was this interesting effect where it's the increase was larger after two years than one might expect. So it seems like people, well, perhaps you can get this interesting positive feedback loop where through perhaps psychedelic experience and your eyes are open to the wonders and beauty of nature, you then spend more of your time in nature, in natural environments, doing nature-based activities. That in turn makes you more connected to nature and then spend more time in it. So you're getting increased reciprocal benefits of increased nature relatedness and also the health effects of, of nature immersion, which are kind of like increasing your nature relatedness um, as well. So, and we did, it was quite a good sample size. It was 654 people. Like the previous study um, was, that was the first study to show this prospective causative um, role for psychedelics increasing nature related. And it was only, I think, about eight, eight people. It was just a subsample. I mean, the, so although the sample was small and there was no placebo, like the, the relationship was very strong. It was, it was a clear effect, even though it was a few people. Whereas this was much, this was a good sample of 654 people to start with. So um, it's, yeah, I mean, I think, yeah, it's, it's sort of a positive step forward, I think, uh, with this whole kind of area of psychedelics and, and nature related disorder.